Hi guys, welcome to the conversation segment of Cook Talk. Um, I'm joined with my amazing guests that have been whipping it up in the kitchen with me, Josiah and Molly. They have their quinoa underneath these little beautiful bowls. I'm just gonna release it. Oh, beautiful! Um, you guys can dish your mushroom and asparagus. I can quinoa wait. I can quinoa wait. <laughs> you tried so hard and I'm so tired of you and your mummy's cheesy joke. I cannot I wait. Cannot wait. Right, right, cool. cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can um right, let me use that. Do your thing and um Um the topic for are you not gonna put the sauce on your face? I'm just trying to look posh. Would you like you know I think you're <laughs> cutting rice. Alright, cool. So um we're gonna go into the conversation topic of today, which is basically I don't have like a title for it, but we're just gonna discuss the 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 blurred lines just the way people are in real life versus social media life basically we've seen like quite a few things go off on social media that have made you made a lot of people question everything realistically it's like everyone there's quite a few people in the world living one life on instagram and twitter and all these other social medias and youtube and are completely i see what you did there and a completely different life in real life. <laughs> um, Malaya? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The reason I've chosen these two amazing guests is because they both have... Wow! I knew it was going to happen. It's, it's so okay. sorry. It's all right. They both have quite huge following on various social media platforms. So my sister has... Molly has... 20,000 followers on Instagram. Don't know where they found her. Mm. Don't know why they're following her. She's obviously doing something right because I'm not complaining. Uh uh-uh, look at her giving them face. Um, and how many subscribers have you got on YouTube? Uh, 47,000. <laughs> Sorry, even my even my Apple Watch did ching ching when he heard the number. <laughs> and Mr. 200 meters out here with his 47,000 followers like 47,000 people want to get emails when he posts a video want to know what's going on in his life I feel like that is such an interesting thing but I want to kind of understand how they deal with that as opposed to in in comparison to their real life because someone like my sister I know her off of social media and she's not the first person you're going to think of when someone says she's got 20k followers on Instagram not dissing you or nothing right. like that but do you know what i mean like you, you, to her to me you're just molly you're mm. molly you're you're my little sister that i still say is 12 years old even though she's pushing 22. you obviously i i've come across you on social media countless times you've popped up in conversations quite a few times i've seen you at events do you know what i mean what like what happened, hmm? what happened? What was it? how did that pop up just pop up in conversation nothing nothing negative it's never been like i i'm not someone that that entertains like gossip or, or negative energy so anytime someone like this comes up it's just a thing where it's just interesting to know how other people who does it fly who sir this thing is spicy. <laughs> um but yeah so we're going to get into the conversation first thing we're going to do obviously is try the food so um let's go guys tell me what you think what do you like yes. which hand do you hold the knife and fork in this one. We're sitting the opposite way. I'm holding it right, innit? Yeah. Well done, woman. 25 years. He's right there. Oh. The quinoa is nice. She wants to kill me. <coughs> the stew is nice as well, but. It's nice, ah. nice, it's nice. I like it. Look, Papa. Wow. Right, um. Yeah, but you're going for more, so obviously like that is where. Yeah. You Makes like mushrooms? I love it when I hear people say that. Yeah, I love mushrooms. I feel like onions and mushrooms always make a meal, depending on what you're cooking. Okay. But anyway, let's get into the conversation. Um, who do I start with? Josiah. <laughs> I'm going to start with you. Just, you know, like, 
talk me through like how you got into the whole social media thing and then like how you differentiate it or if you differentiate it because there are some people that the energy they have on the internet is the energy that they match in real life and i salute those people because not everyone yeah. does that you know everyone has a facade they put on a lot of people have a facade they put on socials but then when you meet them in real life the energy is not the same and you're like mm, are you the same person are you like that from what i've gathered you're not like the energy is matched and i respect that i can't stand when i meet someone and it's they're completely different it's like oh i had so high hopes for you oh, yeah, but then it, you're you're meeting two different people yeah i think um the way i kind of popped up on social media was, was, yeah, was through that. twitter um twitter i was just i was just kind of i just used to make tweets and then i used to get like a load of retweets that's mm. where i started from obviously i started youtube like a year and a half ago it was different because um yeah my content was very personal so i guess it showed every aspect of myself so maybe that's why it may be different for me why maybe my energy may be the same okay. but there's other people for example that may be heavily branded in their in in their videos let's say like there's people who do makeup but they there's people that do heavily branded like makeup videos you know what i'm saying mm. where it's like branding purposes for that reason it's kind of hard to match kind of the energy that's when you meet energy. them yeah because it's obviously objective and one of themselves so i understand that but um i don't know for me personally i just uh, yeah from the way i've created myself the way i've created everything around me your personal brand yeah yeah so i don't know i, I want people to just really relate to you mm-hmm. exactly but i think one thing that people don't realize is that i'm very quiet like i'm very i mean i'm both i'm loud and quiet but yeah like you know when to reel it in in effect yeah effectively like like even on the like where where you said you saw me first was at um, an event last week yeah so even there like i was very quiet but then when it's time to when it was time to host i mm. kind of switched it Ooh, yeah so it just depends on what's needed from me but you know i that guess that makes maybe, sense and i respect that yeah because when i did this was at the discuss this campaign and when i did see you like obviously i'd heard of you prior to that it was like you just you were the life of the party but you needed to be that for what you were doing yeah, yeah, yeah. and but then upon meeting you today you've still got that energy you're still that happy-go-lucky good vibesy person and it's not like you're a completely different person in a Three. different scenario if that makes sense yeah. sis yes. <laughs> what's your take on it my take on the whole social media and real life. no let's start with how you got into this whole social influencer life and do you feel like you're the same person both on and off or away from social media and in the eye of the socialness um i think i'm exactly the same person on my socials as i am in real life and i make a conscious effort to be as such Mm. because i believe that the people that do follow me i don't feel like they should receive a fake version of me Mm. yeah only to be disappointed in real life to realize that oh no she's not bubbly like that yeah no she's not wavy she's just she's just her yeah so um yeah i never try and be something that i'm not on my socials um the way it started it actually started out because i was bored i was going to sixth form and um we had dress code but i have a habit I, i'm i'm very extra as you like to say mm-hmm. i'm very extra <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> extra that's not giving them fancy words the girl is extra continue yeah and um do you know what I didn't I didn't really like the whole business dress situation so I used to go out of my way to kind of look the way I needed to look but mm. in a very different way and I used to get so many like not even just compliments because not everyone liked it yeah but I used to get a lot of comments on my look yeah <laughs> um so I thought do you know what I can start sharing this with like other people because people often ask me oh where's this from where's this from where's yeah. this from so I made a blog called what would Molly wear and then from that it them into the social platforms that i have today very interesting very interesting when it comes to what you do wear i will agree she dresses good <laughs> well, thank you if you see like my post from mexico every outfit i have in the holiday i just went to was provided by and styled by the one and only molly um but yeah with molly like we were even having a discussion in the car yesterday where we were like um what were we even saying how on the normal day <laughs> no i'm sorry it made me laugh and i have to repeat it she said to me on the normal day she doesn't look like 20k followers okay. do you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. you know how you see some people you're like oh who is she is she a model is she a this, this that's true you know this one you see her on a normal day and you're like you're questioning it and then you're like oh what's your socials and you're like oh 
Yeah, that but but I get the O a lot. Because I'm always wearing tracksuit, skateboarding, yeah. and I'm going like, because I work. Yeah. You know, so I'm everywhere. So when people meet me, they're like, oh, what do you do? And then I start telling them what I do. They're like, oh, really? Wow. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, and I think um, one of the main things that's made me like even want to discuss this is, I can't remember her name, the whole girl that lived that lavish life on Instagram but needed RLT. Is that what she RLT? Mm. RLT, yeah, yeah, her. But then I feel like that brought a, to light something that we're all aware of, but we, no one really wanted to admit. Where there's a lot of people on the internet that stunt that that present this life, and obviously social media should be taken with a pinch of salt. Mm. What you see on social media, if you take it as bible as they're living their best life, oh my god, I want to be like that. You're doing yourself a disservice because that person is probably not living that life. But um, obviously, with her, it was it was all questionable. Do you know what I mean? It was like, fair enough, you're doing this thing and you're you're admitting that X Y Z was borrowed and all of this. But then that that then puts a lot of the things that are going on in these communities to light. It's like you're pushing the place away. You don't like it. No, I'm covering this thing because it's really upsetting. <laughs> um, it it just brings to light the life or the double life some people are living at the expense of or. For the purpose of social media, social and media, to and to look a certain exactly, and it's like, how long do you want to live that life? It's like those twins, um, the twins that kind of um, the Claremont twins, the Claremont the twins, twins <laughs> that came out, and um, they, yeah, one like they found out that the whole, all the stuff they're wearing and all the the whole image that they was created was from was through a credit card of um, now a dead guy. They they exchanged. I think she those messages of her like going to have sex with for four hundred dollars dollars. Hmm. Is that it? Yeah, Can you but imagine? then obviously I think she probably knew that he was a rich guy. Well, so see, apparently, had plans. yeah, apparently now the speculation that she may have killed him, so, and took his all his debit cards and credit cards, Make matched sense. it out up to like twenty thousand dollars. And you yeah. know what's funny? Her bill was a hundred k, so it's as if the money that you've all stolen, you've ended up having to pay it back. Pay it back. Mm, it's crazy. I mean, it's, there's there's so much pressure right now just uh, for people to look a certain way. Yeah, because. And I feel like a discussion that needs to be had is how social media has a direct link to the increase in mental health issues in people in our generation. Because yeah. people won't admit it, but it's like you're getting sad and depressed or feeling pressured to look this way, and that is affecting your inner peace. And that's some wild. Because it's right, like your phone is right there. It's, it's right there, there. It's in your hand it. constantly. Yeah. Like you're constantly looking at it, taking it in absorbing it whether it's consciously or subconsciously and it's like um how long are you going to do that for before you lose your mind before you think okay i have to go and kill someone to keep up with this imagery or i have to steal or i have to do that people are going to wild extremes to match this internet life with reality and then it's it's not working it's like just be you just do your own thing Anyone that's meant to be part of your life or anyone that's meant to be around you will be there we'll gravitate towards, towards you. you. Exactly. And and this is the thing. And this is why I say when I meet people that I follow on socials in real life that match that energy, I have a higher respect for them. And I'm going to keep using the word energy because I'll use one of my prime examples is Kelechi, the twerk instructor, as they like to say, but a multifaceted woman. First time I ever met her was at the Grapevine filming. And that person you get on the internet is that person you get in real life. Like, she is who she says she is. She's not fake. She's not, okay, I'm going to make all this noise on the internet and fuck all of these white people and do X, Y, Z and shout at people and attack everyone. And then when you meet me in real life, I'm a turtle. I said that like such an app. Totoist. It's Totoist. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. she's that person. And that is a very respectable thing because it takes a lot to be who you're portraying on one platform. And be, it shouldn't take a lot, but it takes a lot in this day and age. It should be a natural thing for us, but it's no it's longer a thing. It's difficult to be natural because on social media, you don't have the... Natural doesn't sell these days, man. That's very true. But on yeah. social media, you don't have the constraints. Like, 
certain things you wouldn't say in real life is because you know there's going to be a backlash or mm. repercussions. Yeah. Whereas on social media, you can say what you want. As long as the ra- the wrong people don't see it, you're calm. Mm. So a lot of people, they're like, twitter fingers. They're, they're happy to say what they're saying. But then in I'm real too. life, mm-hmm. the energy is not the same. Not the same. They same. won't keep that same energy. It mm. just doesn't happen for them. I guess at the same time, you said um, social media contributes to mental health stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's also an outlet at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. So, like, I know like one of my boys, like him on Twitter versus him in real life, he's the same person, but he's just m- much more vocal online. Okay. Um, that's just where his voice is. Mm. Like, what, what she mean in real life is much more of a reserved person. But on okay. Twitter, you think he's the loudest guy. But his opinions remain the same. Yeah, everything's the same. Exactly. But, yeah. that's, um, but it's like, wrong there's sometimes there's just such a huge contrast because at yeah. the same time as well, like, what people don't realise is that these people that they see on the screens and stuff, um, they're when you meet them in, in person, it's never ever going to be exactly the same. Just no, because, some people it is, man. Yeah, but I mean, like, for a lot of these people, like, more time it won't be exactly the same because... I mean, like for YouTubers, I'm I'm speaking of like there's a lot of YouTubers I meet that I don't they're, they're not exactly the same. And it's not entirely even because um, they're trying to act stush or whatever. It's oh. it's these are actually numbers you're looking at, and then yeah. you're going to meet these real people. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, you know. Sometimes you may not know how to act. But I think, like you said, energy mm. it's the energy much rather than the action. Like if, yeah. if you can tell that the energy is fake, yeah. it's different to if I don't know how to illustrate myself. I don't know how to handle this because yeah. it's just different to me. Yeah. I think that's where it differentiates. But, so yeah. It is. It's 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 sticky situation. It's a sticky situation. But um, I feel like it's something that obviously we can acknowledge now as people that are out here doing things and meeting other people that like a lot of people that have been on this show. One I've met on social media, apart from people like you <laughs> and people that I may have known. <laughs> um, majority of the people that come in here I've met through social media. And I reached out to me, and for whatever reason, we've gelled. Um, I've chosen people that I feel like match their, you know, they are really who they say they are. But um, but I just think it's like I've said, it's something you have to take with a pinch of salt. And I swear, me and Ellen did a video on it with like meeting when you meet your YouTubers or when you meet your faves and they're not the same and all of that. And it's true. It's like it's something that we have to be conscious of because. It's also your brand. Exactly, it is your brand. It's, it's the, like, the, yeah, go on. I was going to say, the thing is, when I say you're not the same, I don't expect you to be screaming, all men are trash in, <laughs> in real life. That's not what I expect you to be saying. But the energy is completely different. Like, online, you are this huge personality. You, 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 your opinions, you throw out there, you don't care. You're very brash. You're very, like, you're very kind of... Keyboard warrior. Keyboard warrior. Yeah. <laughs> Camera warrior, all types of warrior. Yeah. But then in real life, your opinions are changing. You're backtracking. You're backpedaling. That's 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 not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Man's like, um, no, I was gonna mention something. I've forgotten. This um, is nice. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that. I like the mushrooms. <laughs> um, and I feel like obviously the two of you, have you ever been in any scenarios where it's been like someone's come up to you? Because they've noticed you from socials mm. and you've felt some kind of way or felt pressured to behave a certain way or put on this, you know, like obviously it's never happened to me really. Like, I'd say one or two people have now recognized me outside either as Duny's mom because they've seen her on the show or from the grapevine. Very few people, so I'm not trying to say, oh no, a few, loads Are of people. Are you sure? Because so many people have spoken to me and they're like, oh my god, I've seen your sister on the grapevine. Like, oh. Well, I'm not like, that oh. they've come up to me, so do oh, you know okay. what I mean? So in I terms like of... I've seen you now. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> but yeah, so like, I had, like, um, when I went to some event, a bar fest event, I was talking to someone, I don't want to mention, I don't want to be that person I was always mentioning names. I was talking to someone and their friend came up to me and was like, oh, I remember you for, I saw you on a thing. And, and it was interesting to see. And even yesterday at a children's event I went to, they were like, oh, I rec- they recognised Duny, they didn't recognise me. And they were like, oh, that girl was on Secret Life. I was like, yeah, that's my daughter. They're like, oh, I rem-. do you know what I mean? And it's like, but it's never a thing where I've never put, so I've not put so much out there for someone to be like, oh, you seem like X, Y, or Z. But have you ever had someone come up to you and be like, oh, I saw you and you looked. Do you get what I mean? Like, do you have you ever felt pressure to to be your internet self for someone that's come up to you because they've seen you on the internet? Yeah, all the time. 
I, I, I no. No, but that's just the type of person I am. Like a lot of people, um, like if they notice me, because I when I'm not going out, I don't wear makeup. You, you know how I am. Yeah. Like yeah. I will be in my headscarf, tracksuit, sliders, just living my life, and they'll be like, oh, is that pop to Molly? And I'll be like, oh hi. Molly, <laughs> my name's not Pop to Molly, yeah. but I'm Molly, yeah. and then like we'll have a conversation, and I don't know whether you think I'm different, but I know myself that I've portrayed the exact same person yeah, as yeah, I am yeah. online as I have in real life, yeah. so I don't feel any type of way. It is what it is. You take what you want to take from that, but I know I've given the exact same energy, and I'm not a different person. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, it differs, yeah, because <sighs> this one's personal. Wow. <laughs> no, because um, people. People always expect me to be always screaming. Like, mm. I do that sometimes, but I'm a very like reflective. But that's my my natural state is reflective. So sometimes there's, there's been times I've met people, and because I meet so many people, but then um, cause this this country's small, you meet the same people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People expect you to remember who they are, or, or yeah. try and like, expect you to be. I think one thing is people expect you to be happy all the time. Mm. There's days I'm actually just busy. Like, I mean, six thirty at work one day. Like this was last year when I just started YouTube. Like, people just start coming up to me. Like, at work, can I take pictures with you? This is 6.30 in the morning at work. And I'm surrounded by these white folk that don't respect me and don't think I have yeah. been anything in my life. Mm. So I'm now like, okay, cool, what's going on? And then people are now, oh, he's different, acting weird, he's acting weird. Like, people don't know that. It's just, that in that situation, I can't be yeah. myself because mm-hmm. I'm representing something else. Um, so it's like, people have expected me in certain situations. And, and I get messages all the time about, people say, oh, I saw you today, but you didn't smile back at me. I didn't see you. I didn't. I didn't yeah, like. I didn't yeah, register. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah, sat yeah. on the other tube, like I don't know who you are, but. So. And I think that's also an expectation that's been created by social media. 100%. And where does this sound? If you listen, you get what I'm trying to say. The fact that you, as a person, if I see someone I've seen on the internet, yeah, and they just, it's not the right place. I'm not gonna go up to them. But there are some people that don't have that sense. They. The fact that certain people are people are on the internet, they feel like I know this person. I can. Mm. I'm entitled. They feel mm. like they're entitled to your space and your time. Mm. So, time. like I've yeah. seen things where someone, I think it was someone that was on back chat. She was. She she had a rant where some little you girl must have had the phone right up in her face on the bus, like, ah, oh, this is this girl from back chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, how are you people doing? And, and I've seen it so many times. Like, there was even a video of Adrian driving, because he's a bus driver, yeah, 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 that yeah. was going on. That and really it was like, me. what are you guys? But this is what social media has also created. It's also created this thing where people that don't know you from Adam will come in your face and think they can tell you stuff. So I can completely get, and this is why I say it's not just the influencers that have a problem. Well, not necessarily a problem, or that... that Evolved, yeah. yeah, it's also the people that are just viewers. The consumer. The consumer. Hey, there we go. This is why I like you. Educated mm. somebody. University the consumers. Students. <laughs> University students. <laughs> <laughs> the consumers too. Like, you're not in. T- no one owes you their time, their space, their energy. They don't have to give you that. But I feel like it's a thing where, okay, if we're, if we're going to involve ourselves in a conversation, or if I'm going to. If I see. Especially when it's like event places where people are meant to be socializing. I think this is the the, yeah, dif- the way right. we must differentiate it. I'm not saying if you're at work or if you're doing your grocery shopping or whatever, you owe anybody that same energy. But if we're at an event where you're at that event as this YouTuber or this influencer, yeah, yeah, and then you're being <laughs> if you're there to play your character, exactly. That you're not playing, playing your character. character, exactly. Do you get what I mean? So obviously there are blurred lines there. But I think another thing we have to acknowledge is. The fact that consumers are now taking in certain things and wanting to live up to these expectations that really don't... These standards that don't exist. These standards that the people they're trying to be like are not really living. And yeah. this is what this is another thing that's causing it. So obviously it's a very layered topic. It's a very layered discussion. But it's like there's so many aspects to it. And I must admit, I feel like there is a blurred line when it comes to social media and real life. And I feel like... Obviously, people say with social media, oh, I choose what I show, and they, that's valid. That's a very valid thing. Obviously, no one needs to know everything about someone. From like, if that's not your bedroom, why do you need to know when they wake up, when they go to sleep, when they eat, when they shit, when they bath, when they sex? Like, w- what's this? And obviously, there's some people that that's how they're making their money. That's how they're doing their thing. Yeah. Kudos to you. You're not the kind of person I'm interested in because if there's nothing for one to wonder about you, then you're. You're actually not as interesting as 
you know, like when everything's on the table, it's like, wow, we've been seeing everything, so what's what the next trick? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, there's certain people you meet them, and, and you know, you only know them as, oh, this person that speaks on this podcast, or this person that does these kind of videos, comedy videos, or this. And when you get to meet them, you're like, you see another side to them, and it's nice. But then, I feel like it's a mess. I feel like we just need to be authentic. And there are not enough authentic people in the world right now. Mm. And that's disturbing because then if you people are not authentic, when when do you... Some people don't even know who their authentic self is because their only goal is to live up to the standard of everyone else. Yeah, man. Because this one's not... becoming like a meritocracy. So it's just... Hmm. <laughs> Definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she yeah. said, def- said definition. Definition or oh, definition? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's basically like um, like the American dream. Like, is you, 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 yeah. As much as you put in, is, is as much as you get out. Yeah. Um, and that's that's based on like consumerism and stuff. So it's like right now, it's like you can work a nine to five, but some sometimes it seemingly it's, it seems like these people just posting two two pictures on Instagram are doing better than you. Yeah. And it's a myth. It's like Instagram doesn't pay that much. Like it does. I guess if you're a specific level, yeah. But it, I don't even think it's a sustainable income to settle on. I think it's a stream of income. Yeah. But people, people are looking at it like people are not aware. Then look at it like, oh, they've got everything set in their life. Or uh, you know, they've just got a house, and that's just because of the Instagram. No, it's probably because they're doing other stuff. Stuff. Um, as scenes. a result, exactly. But people don't realize that, and I think that's, that's the blurred line. Um, people don't really understand what else people do. Like me, I have multiple streams of income. Um, so it's like, but you'll never see that. But then, if I go and do something, if it asks because of YouTube, mm. but YouTube doesn't give me that much money to do yeah. much. So it's like, mm-hmm. I think people need to understand that there, there is like social media for a lot of people who are successful or doing real or trying to get to places. It's not, it's not the end for them. It's actually the beginning. It's, it's a transitionary thing that they do yeah, and yeah. use. Um, but at the same time, we're we're in a world now that, like, your children grow up with these phones and like, and you can't take away. The phones from them because it's like equivalent to taking away our toys at age yeah, yeah it's so intertwined with their upbringing that it's i don't know i don't even know what the future is going to look like for, for children that's and social media like it, it's, that's very very it's crazy. very interesting mm. i'd say like especially with like now you're getting parents that are putting their kids on instagram i say this as a parent that has done that but that's because my child is a star she's actually a character <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> But um, obviously, because she's like a child model and she's, she does little bits of TV this, here that, there. here and there, that was the purpose. Like, prior to that, she did not have an Instagram. And it's not her personal Instagram, exactly. it's run by her it's mother. It's run so. by me, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, that's that's a, that's a probably a whole different discussion, how social media... <laughs> how social media is going to affect our children, especially if we are not... If so many of us are not understanding the difference in it which is very worrying um i think it's even drawn the line to showing your personal life personal personal life and what people need to see it's like know. snapchat now like dj khaled like snapchat his wife's his wife giving birth like that's crazy i don't Did think his wife birth? yeah like they're doing yeah you know what was he saying uh, Whatever you're saying, <laughs> probably we are another here. one. Yeah, 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 another, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, another one. You know, another saying, one. Yeah, the, no, like, it's the first one. No, yeah, we the best. Like I was thinking, and this, Whoa. this, like your wife is pushing. It. Like for me, that moment for me. I mean, I haven't been there yet, but for me personally, I, would, I that's the moment I need to share with my family. Yeah, and I'll probably video it for my oh, your family. family. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's like it's it's crazy how much is just blurred even into to such like to personal moments. And I think like for me, I've shared some personal moments, but. I haven't shared I haven't shared like how deep it really was. Yeah. I mean the, the reason, surface level. Yeah, like, surface level just for the purpose of um motivational reasons. Like yeah. me, that's the reason I've done certain things. Um uh, and I've been very open in my life, so it's like, yeah, I, I wanna be able to use my example on the surface level to be able to show you if you're going through something and how you can overcome it, how exactly. you can get through so it, stuff like that's that. That's the only yeah. reason I've I've touched on certain things. But mm. there's moments in my life like I think the deepest moment I ever shared was when I went to go see my dad in hospital. I shared on YouTube. Mm. My dad's had surgery, I shared that, but I didn't share much more to it. That was yeah. something that my dad was happy to, for me to show one mm-hmm. because he said people need to learn how to see people not doing well and, and be okay with learning that it's just a process. Mm-hmm. So for me, I needed to show that this is an aspect of my life, this is something I have to deal with. But most importantly, there's a, there's a happy side to the story. Mm-hmm. There's, it's just growth. Um, so I needed to do that. I think we've all come to that unanimous 
correct me if I'm wrong, decision that there is a blurred line when it comes to social media real life. Yeah, I get okay. Incredibly. Okay, that's great. That one we all agree on. Um, obviously, it's a conversation that needs to keep being had because had keep being had. Yeah, does that right? That needs to continue. Yeah, yeah, that needs to. It's a, con- it's a conversation that needs to continue. It's one that not just for us, but for like people watching as well, because it's like it's affecting people in more ways than just what we we see yeah. on the so, like Selfish, yeah. take the Claremont twins. Like look at the extremities they went to. Yeah. When they were even so getting big gigs exactly. already, they, so imagine someone that's not getting big gigs that's trying to get there. How desperate they are, basically. Exactly. It's the desperation. And I think that goes back to the whole RLT girl thing as well. Like little things like this is it's good for things like this to happen to kind of open it up. But it's like we want to nip it in the bud before it becomes a socio-economic disaster because in effect that is what could happen with things like this. It's already happening, man. Like the growth of the growth of crime in correlation to social media, it's already like especially in America. Exactly, I've never thought of the the correlation of crime and social media, but that's yeah, a yeah, whole. A link. Yeah. There's a big. So imagine social media has direct links to so to Everything. mental illness. It has a direct link to yeah, exactly. violence crime. It has a direct link to fraudulent crime. It has like, a direct link like to... All the rappers now are sending for each other through social media. So social media they, is... They, they basically get people to pay for them to walk. To, to do a to, madness. To, 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 to do basic stuff. That's like, mad. Like and what's worse is because it's on social media, The you know when it'll be like, okay, that's enough, relax. Pe- they don't see when it's enough, so they, yeah, yeah. it gets too much, and then, and then it, it people turns, get upset, and then it becomes it just, a physical battle. It just looks like a game. Like, like, it just looks like a game. Yeah. So like, like when you're watching the 6 6 9 versus Chief Keith, everybody's like, oh, he's in... He's now in this bit, and it, it, like Chief Keith will fly to the same place that Six Nine called him yeah. out to be, and then you see on Sna- you see on like Instagram story that he's at this location. Everybody watching that, yeah, and it takes away from the fact that this is a real situation. Yeah, and then it then it gives this idea that doing stuff like that is okay. It's like, okay, it's, and then it it's gives, actually yeah, because yeah, I saw a, a video. Issue. I saw I shouldn't be laughing. I saw a um a still a picture of some girl that had run up on someone or beaten someone up. And she had the girl by her hair, face blooded up and everything, and she was taking selfie mid beating someone yeah. up. Uh, they forget that this is evident. Like, exactly, like these people are happily willing to put themselves in jail. Like police don't even have to do the job the work no more. Like you've done yeah. it for you've them. You've done it for man. them. You've left that trail on the internet. Back in the day that they'll be looking for forensic, they'll be looking for hair, nail clipping, fingerprints, we'll no. Now all you have I to have do is open Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook and... They can just check, if, they can just check your Instagram, just your Snapchat, police have got it. Like. That's mad. You probably did location stamp in the area, so the, the evidence, there's no alibi. You see, like, you see the guys <laughs> that were in jail. Too. It's, it's you mad. You see the guys Instagram live from jail. Like, that's like social media to the extreme for me. Like, yeah. you're in jail. I mean, you're glorifying like something this, like, that's yeah, like Leah Maria B did a live with a guy that was in jail and it just went viral. Yeah, yeah I've now never seen she that. got a lot of stick for for posting it, but I mean, it was a live. It's a live, like so what, like she that, that's her that's her like she's legally allowed to be in the public. Mm-hmm. So, but somebody that was in prison went on social media and it's a bit and people are surprised that it blew. Like, it's gonna blow. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's and that for me showed how. Especially for someone in jail, that was, that was such a blurred line for them because they just don't want to just do social media. Yeah, that's we're their not going to get caught, they're not, but they forget there's even... real human beings. It's not just numbers, and it's yeah. not actually numbers, and that's one thing people need to realize. Things that that you watch, the p- people behind, like it's not just twenty k followers. It's twenty thousand real people um, that actively have a part in your life. Mm. If so, it's actually it's actually quite scary. Like when I think about like the following I have away from even YouTube, it's scary the amount of people that you could get stopped by. And you imagine that in a room. Like, imagine like 50 people in this room it's, it's packed like you've got 20,000 people like that's scary and it sometimes almost makes me wonder why I do what I do but obviously you know like if I had 20k followers I'd just ask for 50p each that's 10k no fam as in 47,000 if 47,000 people gave mm. you 20p no let me not say 20p because I can't do the maths I'm using 10p yourself 10p that's what 4.7 4. 4. yeah yeah, what she said. No, Are you I'm mad? Yeah, yeah. As in. <laughs> As in. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, social media has direct links to some yeah. crazy things, and and I don't think people realize how powerful social I didn't, media I, is as well. I've always thought it was a powerful tool, 
I've never thought of it in terms of the links it has to violence and, and criminal behaviour and, and ill right, health. Because when celebrities get into beef, like, for example, 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather, right now it's a competition mm. of who can... Uh, who can do bring the, best, the other the best person exactly. Yeah, yeah, I read that and I was uh, like, that was emotional. Dissertation. As in, he didn't write that. He did. Oh, of course he, he didn't write that. Really he write. He write that man. <laughs> but that's a completely. That's beside <laughs> the point. Man, nigga. Violated. This <laughs> man, what's the word when you re- dictated it for his secretary that was there doing? Pudding, 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 that's pudding, emotional. Pudding. Imagine you didn't even type your own like you were sending for someone. You didn't even type it. <laughs> you had to get <laughs> someone else to type like, it. That, no, that, for me that. Can you not respect me enough to type it yourself like that? Can I will feel a bit. No. <laughs> no. Did you see 50 Cent's draft that he said he gave to the secretary? Oh, that killed me. That killed me. Oh, no, no. He's oh, going to see it. It's oh, hilarious. It's I need hilarious. To see it. See, but these things are like, I look at them, I laugh about it and I forget about it. But there are some people that are so invested in these fights and things and other... And it's, yeah, like, it's younger children. It's younger kids. Yeah, it's younger yeah kids. because then they see that as, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, this is how I'm going to run up on this. Oh, this is oh, how I'm going to deal with the problems that are going mm-hmm. on in my life. I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it to what is going on in my life, not knowing that it's two different things, my G. Like, yeah. it's, you don't compete when you mm-hmm. don't compare. So, mm-hmm. yeah, like mm-hmm. Social media gives you the glamour without the reality yeah. like behind it. So people want the glamour without having the harsh reality. Then they find that they get the harsh reality. Then they suddenly now start saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with a mental health issue. But it's what comes with it. You know, yeah. there's, there's the good and bad too. To mm-hmm. everything, and people just think they can just take the good without the bad, but you, know, mm. you need both. Like, More time, the bad comes first. Hundred. Um, so. but yeah, thank you guys for joining me in this conversation. Yeah, this was very interesting. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do some statistics. You want more? That's mushroom. Yeah, I like mushroom. <laughs> you really want more mushroom? Yeah. Right. So this is what I love to do with all my guests. Um, out of ten, what would you give the food? I'd give it a ten. So. Oh, I'll explain yeah. why. Let's play away. Because I don't really like overly flavoured food. Like, you know, like there's food that's just overly flavoured. Mm. This is like a nice amount of flavour. Um, so it doesn't choke you up, mm-hmm. but it's still flavoursome. And then, like you said, the mushrooms, the meaty texture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, um, I thought I'd eat for more. But... <laughs> <laughs> he said for more. Oh my god, that's probably nice, why I nice. like it, because for more is like literally that one of my favourite when like I. That's a nice move, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Um, I really like the quinoa. I think it's delicious. The um, stew, I really like it as well. However, there's just a little bit too much spice for me. I can't handle it. It's um, it's taken away from the flavour. It's taken away from the um, enjoyment of the food. So um, because I thought of the that, spice was calm. We kiss seven point five. Link seven point five. We kiss link. This yeah, it's actually your own. It's your own family. It be your own. Ah. Oh. Honestly, what can I say? Wow. I thought it was actually gonna be worse because the amount of like things you put in, mm. I thought it was gonna be hot. Like mm. I was getting you know, ready to bring my handkerchief out. <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't that bad for me personally. Right. So, thank you so much for joining us on this conversation. Um, thank you to Molly and Mister Two Hundred M. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I can't believe people that actually you think You said you wanted to know why, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, we're going to do a little quick thing. Why did they call you Mr. 200 Meters or Mr. 200 M? I just did athletics. So, I created the name because my name was, obviously, I'm known as Toasted Lady on Twitter. Toasted Lady, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Toasted Lady. Like, yeah. Toasted Lady. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I um, I was doing athletics and there was a point I was really, I think I was about to do like the Commonwealth and I was just at a really good point before I got an injury. Oh, so this is I, so nostalgic for yeah. me. Like, I want to cry. Like I have some long ass story of how somebody ruined my chance of being mm. an Olympic athlete. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into that. I can't but you know what I'm trying to do. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. So I, that basically, I changed my name to 200 because I want to one day do 200 in the Olympics. So I was like, I have my name. My name Josiah is the name that's given to me, so I will fulfill that purpose within the name. So I was like, if I give myself another name, 200. I have to kind of live to that. Um, so for me, it was like, I need to so make sure to push on. So do you still do athletics? Yeah, still do athletics. Um, still training, basically. So yeah, that's, that's actually the name. But obviously, it became a whole brand when I went to uni and started YouTube. Um, it was meant to be an athletics channel. I meant to, I was actually, I had a platform that was meant to shoot short films. So that's what it was meant to be. Um, but then I created that differently and then it just stuck. I didn't even like the name at first. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Very nostalgic for me. And on that note, we're going to finish off the conversation segment of Cook Talks. Thank you very much for tuning in.
tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out <laughs> check out the website um, that's gonna have the recipe on. Um, and see you again next week.